What is up guys, I'm Old Painless, and today we are looking at my very first purchase from Shapeways, and uh, it's a piece I'm pretty excited about actually, and if you watched my Computron review from Orbitron, I posted a couple days ago, um, I'm referring to the new chest armor I have for my combiner. And as you can see, I have it here uh, posted in front of my uh, combiner figure, the big guy right there. And uh, yeah, that's the armor. It only took a couple days to uh, order and process and actually arrive. So very happy with Shapeways. Uh, it's a quick and efficient purchase. Uh, definitely recommend working with those folks. Uh, I mean, I'm sure quite a few of you guys have already bought from them. So uh, a good quality product all around. But enough of that. Let's get into the actual product. This was actually from a shop on Shapeways called uh, Toy Box Underscore Collection. And uh, I'll have a link down below in the description. It's also linked on the uh, Warbitron Computron review if you want to check this out. But uh, enough of that. Let's actually jump into this chess piece here. So as you can see, it's a, a really nice representation of the original uh, G1 toy chest armor. And this is something that the Warbitron team really uh, dropped the ball on replicating. Yeah, but I'm really happy that this designer went ahead and actually uh, produced this piece. Uh, it has a lot of the similar design cues from the G1. You know, these big open spaces like on the abdomen and uh, you know these side portions here. And I really like the fact that even though these elements like this rectangle with that uh, circle and line through it and sort of like this ridging right there, uh, these are actually elements on the original G1 toy chest armor, uh, but they were sort of located more up in this area instead. So they took a lot of the uh, design cues and elements from the original toy, but they kind of uh, reproduced it in, in a fashion that's going to work on the uh, updated combiner. A uh, very cool piece. It, it feels good. Uh, again, from my first experience with Shapeways, it's a really robust plastic. It has some, uh, it's not super rigid, it has some flexibility to it, but uh, yeah, it, it's a pretty impressive piece. Now the plastic does have kind of that ridged appearance through the uh, finish right there. And then that's going to be apparent from at least my knowledge of most uh, 3D printed products. Um, but I'm going to be doing some follow-up paint um, to sort of finish this guy off. I have some acrylics which I'm going to be using um, on this to sort of uh, give a more true red color to this as well as some so sort of uh, silver and gunmetal detailing along with it. So hopefully that will kind of clean it up just a tad to match the uh, toy aesthetic. But overall, the piece works out pretty well. Uh, you can see on the back here, there are two pegs which correspond to the uh, the gun holes on the uh, the chest of the combiner. So they just basically peg right in. It's a nice, tight and secure connection. And uh, I'll plug this in in just a second, but um, it looks pretty good as a base, even without paint. Uh, it's definitely a little bit brighter of a uh, red tone, so it doesn't match perfectly. Um, but, I mean, as a standalone, this actually still works out pretty well. So let me go ahead and pop this on, and we'll check out the uh, combiner with the new chest armor. And there we have Computron with his new chest armor. And, man, he looks so good. You know, this is the chest armor that Warbitron should have designed and provided with this, uh, this shield all along. It, what a missed opportunity that Warbitron did or had here. But I'm glad these guys came along and they designed a really nice-looking... Uh, very G1 accurate looking chest piece and just having the abundance of uh, red on the figure itself and having that bigger chest armor really makes the figure pop and look that much more uh, G1 authentic obviously it's still a uh, revised and updated interpretation of the combiner figure but I mean to me this looks like a proper Computron now um, no more wacky proportions with the uh, updated um, you know preferences and settings and stuff and Again, a proper chest armor, and we're in business here. And again, I did point out it is a lighter red tone, so it does have some color uh, mismatching here, but uh, these are meant to be painted. So I'll be taking my first steps here, actually uh, busting out some brushes and acrylics and, you know, giving it a shot and, you know, testing out some different paint options to kind of get it a, 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 to be a closer match uh, with the red already on the figure. So I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm pretty excited because... I think the end result is going to be fantastic. Uh, one quick thing I wanted to point out that I really appreciate that the designers did is that they actually uh, left a cutout here to incorporate Scattershot's chest armor. Again, just like the G1 toy. So just a nice little touch and attention to detail, which I really appreciate. Um, it does sort of inset further back into the uh, torso versus the, the actual toy in the cartoon. 
Uh, it's kind of one of the trade-offs of having, you know, this this piece plugging into the front. But uh, I think the effect is still really well done, and uh, it's just a lot of really nice detail uh, put into the sculpt. So guys, that was just my quick update. Um, you know, I wanted to really show off this chest armor because if you are a Warbitron fan and you had their Combitron, but maybe weren't satisfied with the design, uh, here is finally a product that actually nails the G1 aesthetic, and I think it really improves the look of the combiner right here. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you always uh, checking out my channel, and uh, have a great day.